kinds kinds of the pronoun there are 10 kinds of pronoun the very first is personal pronoun personal pronoun is that pronoun which denotes three persons the person is speaking the person is spoken to and the person is spoken of for example i am studying we are studying you are studying they are studying i we you they are personal pronouns because they denote three persons the person is speaking first person the person is spoken to second person the person is spoken of third person you is used as singular as well as plural second one is demonstrative pronoun demonstrative pronoun is that pronoun which is used to point out the object to which it refers for example that this singular these those are plural however this these denote nearness and that those that those denote distance third one interrogative pronoun this pronoun is used for asking question as what who whom whose and which are interrogative pronoun although who whom whose are used for persons what and which are used for persons and also for things which denotes selection which one the next one fourth one is relative pronoun relative pronoun is a word that is used to refer some noun going before which or that is called it is antecedent for example this book which you need is mine this book which you need is mine honest is the man that speaks the truth which that are relative pronouns a relative pronoun also connects one sentence to another fifth one is distributive distributive pronoun distributive distri beauty pronoun is that pronoun which is used to refer to persons or things one at a time as each of you can play neither of the two past either of you can eat none can do it each neither either none or any no one are distributive pronouns thus distributive pronoun is used where there are more than two persons or two things more than two persons or two things after each either neither singular number verb is used either neither are used for two persons or two things each is used for more than two persons or two things and any no one none are also used for more than two persons or two things sixth one indefinite pronoun indefinite pronoun is that pronoun which refers to persons or things in a general way as all knew that few will fail nobody was there to study none deceived me some are intelligent all few nobody none some are indefinite pronoun seventh one reflexive reflexive pronoun reflexive pronoun is that pronoun which is used to point out that action done by the subject turns back upon the subject as bharat hurt himself you will do harm to yourself 
turns back upon the subject. The girls played themselves, himself, yourself, themselves, or herself are reflexive pronoun. Eight one emphatic pronoun. Emphatic pronoun is that pronoun which is used for the purpose of putting emphasis, as she herself will study it. She herself, you yourself, can do it. So herself, myself, yourself are emphatic pronoun. That was eight one. Rule. Reflexive and emphatic pronouns are made by personal pronouns by adding self, selves, but its uses are different. Generally, reflexive pronouns are used after verb and emphatic pronouns are used before verb but after the subject as I studied it myself. Sisha was told this by Sita herself. Ninth one is reciprocal, reciprocal pronoun. Reciprocal pronoun is that pronoun which denotes a close connection with each other, pointing out the mutual relation. For example, the two, the two teachers respect each other. We played with one another. Each other, one another are reciprocal pronouns. Each other is used for two persons or two things and one another is used where there are more than two persons or things. Last one, tenth one, exclamatory pronoun. Exclamatory pronoun is that which is used as an exclamation. What he is dead? What you failed? What? Only what is used as an exclamatory pronoun.